story to tell. Denmark is a country located in northwestern Europe. The Vikings founded Denmark more than 1100 years ago, and in doing so, created one of Europe's oldest known kingdoms. For centuries, the Danish dynasties ruled all of both Norway and Sweden combined, as well as the island nation of Iceland. Today, Denmark is a small nation that occupies most of the Jutland Peninsula and hundreds of smaller islands. Denmark is surrounded by the Baltic Sea and the North Sea. To the north, Denmark is separated from Norway and Sweden by the Skagerrak and Kattegat Straits. The southern part of Denmark borders Germany, which is Denmark's only land border with the main European continent. This border is only 68 kilometers long. Because of these geographical features, the development of Denmark's Fishery Protection and Inspection Service is an urgent requirement. In 1977, the Danish economic zone was expanded to 200 nautical miles from the coast of Greenland and the Faroe Islands. Based on these factors, it was clear that the next generation of vessels for service in these waters had to be faster, more long-legged, and better equipped than the ships that had previously been in service at this time. In the early 1990s, Denmark built a class of large patrol vessels called the Stanflex 3000 to meet the requirements of the Royal Danish Navy in the new era. This class compromises of four ships. The main tasks of this class are maintenance of sovereignty, search and rescue, fishery inspection, and to support local authorities. The design of the Thetis class patrol frigate is based on standardization with existing Danish naval equipment and software. The technological standards achieved ensure reliable, safe, and economic operations. Based on these tasks and past experience, the ships were built with a displacement of 3,500 tons, a length of 112.3 meters, a beam of 14.4 meters, and a draft of 6 meters. When completed, the ships can reach an endurance of 8,300 nautical miles at varying speeds consuming no more than 90% of the gas oil available. Provisions cover four months operations and the stock of spare parts are sufficient for six months at sea without replenishment. By design, the Thetis class patrol vessels have exterior hulls that are double skinned and ice reinforced, enabling these ships to break through 80 centimeters of solid ice. The hull of the Thetis class vessels are divided into watertight compartments by 10 bulkhead, such that Thetis class vessels can sustain hull damage up to 8 meters in length without resulting in dangerous instability problems. The basic hull shape corresponds to that of a high speed trawler, and the frames in the bow and the stern are very closely spaced. The propulsion system is a combination of three MAN B&W V2 R32 diesel engines providing 3,943 horsepower each. The reduction gearbox is able to operate underwater. The titled bow thruster is able to hold the bow against anthward wind of 28 knots. Furthermore, a retractable U-smooth thruster has been installed. This thruster is able to propel the ship at 10 knots and can thus be considered as get you home machinery to be used in case of damage to the propeller, the gear, or total engine failure. The ships can reach a maximum speed of 22 knots. The sea keeping qualities allow the ships to stand up to wind gusts of 150 knots during light ice conditions and operate in all sea conditions at speed of four to five knots. The Thetis class patrol vessel is also designed to operate a Western Lynx MK-90B helicopter in the stern, along with a full service hangar. Since 2016, the Royal Danish Navy has switched to using MH-60R helicopters that carry a fuel capacity that can suffice for flying 150 hours. 
The ability to operate the ship's services was also optimized with the arrangement of two 7-meter rigid hull inflatable boats. In the Ocean Patrol role, the standard base crew is 47 persons and 16 conscripts. When in either command ship role or the more warfare heavy roles, the base crew is expanded to 60 persons plus four air crew and one or two doctors. Accommodation is available for 101 personnel in all. In order to meet Denmark's task of defending sovereignty, corresponding weapons were included in the Thetis class design. The ship's main armament is a 76 mm OTO Malera Super Rapid DP gun. This naval gun has a high rate of fire with 120 rounds per minute in a range of 16 kilometers. This makes it capable for short range anti-missile point defense, anti-aircraft warfare, AAW, anti-surface warfare, ASW, and ground support. Along with the main gun, there are two 12.7 millimeter heavy machine guns and two 7.62 millimeter light machine guns. The fire control system is the Saab Systems 9LV200 Mark III. A FLIR Systems AN AAQ22 SAFIRE thermal imaging system is used for surveillance. The ships are fitted with a Terma Scanter MIL-009 navigational radar, a Furuno FR-1505DA surface search radar, and a Terma Scanter 4103 air and surface search radar. Sonar equipment consists of the Saab Tech hull-mounted type CTS-36 and Thales underwater systems TMS-2640 Salmon Variable Depth Sonar. Four Thetis class ocean patrol vessels have been in service with the Royal Dutch Navy since 1991 and since then have been key members of the fleet in maintenance of Danish missions for sovereignty, search and rescue, fishery inspection, and supporting local authorities. The area of operations for these ships has typically been around Greenland and the Faroe Islands, but the vessels also operate near Iceland on transit between Greenland and the Faroe Islands and near Denmark. My video of the 30s class brought your vessel answer. Thank you for watching. The video was completed with the voice of the Greek Sclerus. Thank you very much. How do you feel about this video? If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Sports Channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.